Hi there YouTube, how are you doing? I just got out of the bath, that's why I'm wrapped in towels. I'm in my kitchen, but I thought I'd make a video anyway because you know I'm doing this um, project, the More Dick project, and I kind of feel like I owe it to the YouTube community to earn some social capital by making videos and trying to entertain in some way. Not not that I feel like I'm an entertainer, but you know, to, to just to um, put something in here really. So I thought I'd just tell you about my day. I know that's not a great topic, but there you go. It, it, is a, it is a story about my day accompanied by beer, of course, as the best stories are. This is McEwen's Champion, which is one of my favourite beers. Um, it's, what time is it? It's 8.48 in the evening, so, and I've just got out of the bath. And I've been up since about half past four, because I get up really early. Um, so I'm just going to run you through some of the stuff and see what you... Um, can I look back on my day? I don't know if you ever do this. I look back on my day and sometimes I think, well, that was a re I didn't do anything today. And other other times I look back on my day and think, well, that was one day. That was a really nutty day. You've just spent a whole day doing really stupid, nutty things. And today was a bit in the middle, really. It was a bit between, somewhere between nutty and nothing happened today, damn all. Not a sausage, bugger all. One of those, you know. Um, got up at past four. Kicked around the kitchen for a bit, petted my dog. She went off back to bed, and and then I started doing some creative stuff. I get really, I get really kind of lively in the morning. I'm knackered in the evenings, but in the mornings I'm quite lively. So I started doing stuff. What did I do? I um, <laughs> I have to shoot. Well, I, I brought this down from upstairs. So I'm, I'm going to make a green screen here, just in case I get the get the urge to um, you know do do special effects. So that was one of the things I did. I haven't set it up yet, but I will. I haven't gone away. I'm just over here, just um, getting stuff. Hold on. I should have prepared better, but never mind. Um, I collected bits of props because I've been thinking about some videos. So I'll just show you some props and some other bits and pieces that I've got here. Okay. Um, right, this is a facial hair kit. I've had it. In, it's been in wraps for a few years now. But it's like fake eyebrows and uh, fake beard and fake sideburns. And this is a wig that I've worn in a few videos. So I was playing for about an hour with these. So I want to make a video impersonating a YouTuber that you guys know. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I won't look anything like this person, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, so I was playing around with that and doing things with my face and practicing. You know what I mean? I don't do scripts, but I was kind of practicing that. For a bit and I took Phoebe off for a walk that's after I did that I did, took Phoebe off for a walk and it was brilliant actually I quite like my Sundays because I took her for a walk about this is about because um, I was finding about on YouTube for a bit so we're at about half past seven by this point took her off for a walk for about an hour and there's a, there's a market about an hour's walk away from here it's a huge hill behind my house with some monuments on it but, but I have to walk all the way around the hill to the other side to get into a little town where there's a market a kind of car boot sale, you know, like, um, I don't know what you call it in America. What do you call car boot? Swap meets? It's like a swap meet. Um, one of those. Which I always, I really like going to those. They're great. They're really friendly people. It's a real nice mix of people from really traditional kind of Cornish people to uh, a lot of Polish and Romanian people down there because there's quite a lot of immigrant communities over here. And, it, it, and it's just really lively and you know, interesting. So I had a look around there, which is great. And uh, Phoebe likes it, and she got a lot of attention because a lot of other dogs around there. So that was great. I did buy one thing. Sorry, I should have got this before, which I'll show you now. <laughs> uh, this is just stupid. I shouldn't be doing this with really, you. I got this look, which is the Indiana Jones box set DVD 3. <laughs> cost me a quid. I was so pleased about that. Really pleased. Um, so I've got to where I'm in right now in my kitchen and I've got a perfectly good television and DVD and all that kind of stuff in the room. But most of the time I just sit in the kitchen because I really like it in here, you know. And I've got a really old 14-inch colour television on the other side of the table here. Uh, that's got, it's one of those that's got like a slot in the bottom where you can put a VHS cassette, which I also got from the swap meet about six months ago. And um, quite often I play videos in here because I think I just really like it. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to playing the Indiana Jones and, uh, trilogy. In fact, I might watch Where Does the Lost Ark after I've made this video on video here. 
the one I like best, of, 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 the videos I've got here, there's only three videos, <laughs> I've only got three videos. I've got Jurassic Park, which I only watched the first half of, because I like the first half of Jurassic Park, I don't like the second half. I like the setup, but once the action starts, I think it's boring. Um, I've got Air Force One with this guy playing the president, which I really like, which I've watched about eight times. Uh, very comforting film. And I've got The Matrix, which I really like. I've, I've had The Matrix, different copies of The Matrix for years, and I must have watched it about 150 times. And uh, I, I think I probably know all the, all the dialogue off by heart. And I've had it in various formats. And in fact, I've got all the Matrix and all the spin-offs, like the Animatrix, on DVD in the other room. And I've got it on the hard drive of this computer in front of me right now. But I really like the Matrix on VHS cassette, which I've got over there and which I occasionally watch. And the reason why I like it is because the Matrix was made, the film The Matrix, the original one, was made in 1999, around about that, or at least in 1999. And it's kind of set in that period, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's not futuristic and it's not nostalgic. It's set around about the late 90s. And there's that great scene quite near the beginning where um, when Neo goes to that club, you know, and he meets Trinity for the first time. And there's that kind of industrial music. Like, dur, 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 and and you know, there's that kind of meeting and everybody's dressed in leather. And it's a very kind of 90s club. And... Uh, and it's kind of frozen at that moment in time, isn't it, that film? And I quite like that, because every, cause as the years go by, the Matrix gets better for me in terms of... Uh, I, I get out just, just, what it, just kind of what it means, really, because it, it's, it's, it, re it represents the fact that this fake world is a fake 1999, so it gets more realistic in this weird kind of way. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. You know, but the fact that it isn't about now, it's about a fake world and a person being kept in the past in this in this moment, this frozen moment of 1999. I quite like that. But the reason why I'm saying why I like having it on VHS is that if anybody watched movies in the Matrix, which of course they don't, but if anybody did, if there was a scene in which Neo brings people into his little crappy apartment and they decide to sit around and watch a film, they would watch it on VHS, because that was the technology of the time, right? So I just feel, I feel like having the, v, having the Matrix on, the v, on VHS format just puts me in the film, you know, it's, 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 I don't know, I'm just embodying the media in some way. So that's what I did then, and that's why I'm happy with this. Although given that these are set in the 1940s, I suppose I should have it on a spool or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I was did that. Then what did I do? I didn't do anything with this rabbit. I did some work with this, um, which is a colander, which I bought from Tesco a couple of weeks ago. Because what I want to do is, I've got these uh, fairy lights, which were in my van until very recently, which I'll tell you about another point. But see the light up to the red ones there, and I've got uh, green ones. Not pretty much. So what I want to do is I want to put these fairy lights inside, you can see this, so that they come out through the, through the hole, you see, like this. See like that? Coming out, see how it's coming out like that? But the, the regular holes aren't big enough, so I had to drill out some of the holes, and I did that, and that's what I was doing this morning. But I only had a wood drill, so it, it, it just knackered it, really. So I went to B&Q and I bought a, a proper drill to widen the holes, so I can make this weird hat that's got fairy light sticking out of it for a different project. I say a project. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I use the word project to give it some kind of credibility. <laughs> Another time-wasting exercise, I should call it, really. I'm making a, a zombie machine out of a colander and, and tens. I'll tell you about them later. Anyway, so that was the other thing I did, which was rather nice. I enjoyed doing that. Uh, so I've done that, I've done that. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I did a bit of work on the computer. Did some stuff about um, the More Dick project we should know about. Some people are contributing now, which is brilliant. It's up to about 5% of its total, which is great. I'm really pleased about that. Um, there might be a little bit of cash left over, actually. I'm really hoping there is. Then we can do something else with it. But um, what else did I do? I don't think I did anything else, to be frank. I must have done something else. 
Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. Took about did that. Oh yeah, I did um oh, I'll have to show it. sorry I should have prepared my prop, shouldn't I? I'll just show you this. I won't um, it won't make a lot of sense, but I'll show you it anyway. Um I've been messing about with big bits of cardboard recently. Um, so uh I got this bit of cardboard and I cut this rabbit shape out of it. Can you see that? Probably can. The reason why I did that is there's a there's a road sign quite near where I live here. It's a really old road sign, one of those triangular warning signs, you know, the red warning signs that we have in the UK. And um, it hasn't been touched up, so whatever was in the middle of it, and I think it was like a road narrow sign, and it's really faded, you can't see it, so it's just a, it's just an almost plain white um, triangle with a red border. And I thought what it really needs is a, is a beware of the dead rabbit sign. So I made the stencil for that, which is this, right? Well, this is this is the bit I cut out. But that's what the sign will look like. So to, probably tomorrow morning, if I get up early enough, which I quite like will, I'm going to walk down there, I've got some black paint, and I'm going to um, stent, spray this into, into the, if I If I can pluck up the nerve, I get quite nervous. I'll uh, spray that into the centre of the sign. So people coming to that part of Cornwall will say, will see a sign that says, Beware of the dead rabbit on the road. Or something. So I did that. Did a bit of writing. Made a few comments on YouTube videos. Drank some beer. That's it, really. That's, uh, that's, that's all you need to know, isn't it? That's 12 minutes. Not the most coherent video in the world. I will make a video about this thing. But the... Um, the files for that are at work, so I'm going to, I'll have to go into work tomorrow, or maybe Tuesday, and get the files off so I can tell you about that map. That's it. Go on. Don't hang around here. I've got. I've finished. I've got nothing else to say. You might as well go now. Bye.